Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to get all of my videos delivered directly to your inbox. The latest chapter in the Jets soap opera will begin to unfold here in the next couple days as Jason LaConfora is reporting that Woody Johnson is exploring a trading cornerback Darrell Revis. Of course, Lock and Fora has unnamed sources in the Jets organization leaking this information to him. You know, these days with the Jets, you won't get anyone to put their name on anything because uh, largely, uh, as, we're, as, we're, as we saw this season, as we saw in the offseason last year, it looks like there's largely a bunch of cowards out there in Florham Park, and hopefully they're in the process of weeding those guys out so they can move forward as an organization. But, you know, those moles are still there, and they're still leaking things, and Lock and Fora gets... You know, this put in his lap that Woody Johnson is looking to trade Darrell Revis. Uh, from a football perspective, uh, exploring trading any player I don't think is a big deal. But since it's the Jets, since there's a circus around them, and until they tighten up their ship there and go a while without all this drama, these little things are going to become big things. If you think about it like this, Revis is owed only $6 million next year, making him if he, if he can prove he's healthy during training camp and during off-season workouts, making him uh, attractive to other teams, okay? He's coming off of an ACL injury. The Jets are void of talent at multiple positions, okay? They could look this, at this as a way of replenishing some of their roster. So from that perspective, from a football standpoint, I like that Woody's looking into this and is at least considering it because it's showing as a long-term view. A lot of the things Woody has done and the Jets have done in the last two or three seasons have shown a very short-term view. Do I want to see Revis get traded? I'm a Jet fan. Uh, if they were ready to win next year, I wouldn't. But what's wrong with exploring it? I don't want them to give him away, but exploring a trade I don't think is a big deal. The Jets are in a completely different situation than they were two years ago when they were basically forced to give Revis an extension. Two years ago, if you remember, the Jets were coming off an AFC Championship game appearance. Okay, they were they had a very good roster at that point. Revis was uh, the glue that kind of held everything together. He sat out there in training camp. They signed him. They went to the AFC Championship again that season. Okay, and since then we've sort of seen uh, the Jets come apart at the seams. Um, and you know, I'm by no means blaming the Revis contract for that. I'm just saying the Jets as a whole were in a different situation two years ago when they signed him. The situation the Jets don't want to get in is Revis plays the $6 million out this year, which I don't think Revis will demand an extension before the season. I think he, I think he knows he has to come in, prove to teams that he's healthy before he can get that extension. So what the Jets don't want to happen is Revis comes in, has a good to above average season this year, and pulls the same stuff next year, uh, becomes an unrestricted free agent, he leaves and they get nothing for him. Uh, that's what the Jets are trying to be proactive to prevent. I don't begrudge them for doing that. Uh, the only way I would uh, uh, like them uh, to sort of pursue extending Revis is if they can get him, get him to agree to a slightly lesser deal in terms of money. I don't think he'll do that. I think he'll play this year at $6 million, having confidence in his ability that he'll produce, and it'll lead to another big payday. I just don't think from an organizational standpoint, if I'm John Idzik, the new general manager, and even if I'm Rex Ryan, if I'm looking at things as far as the long-term view of the team goes, if I have Cromartie on one side, Revis on the other side, and I extend Revis with what I'm already paying Cromartie, it just doesn't make any sense. You can't build a team paying two cornerbacks that much money, okay? If, again, if the team had a lot of talent and a lot of depth and it was you sign Revis and you could be good for five more years because you have the other players around him, great. But I think the Jets hopefully learn their lesson in, in when you give someone a big extension, how is it now going to affect the rest of the depth and talent on your team? I think Idzik's a guy who understands that, being the different places he's been, most notably Seattle. And if you look at Seattle, they probably had the best cornerback tandem in the league last year, Richard Sherman and Brandon Browner. Sherman, they get in the draft, not an overly high draft pick. Browner, they pluck from the CFL. So, you know, um, am I going to be mad if Revis is on the Jets this year and they don't trade him? Absolutely not. Um, I like Revis. I think he, besides Curtis Martin, is the best Jet I've seen in my lifetime. 
Okay, I've been watching the Jets consistently um, since the late 80s. All right, he's a magnificent player. When he's healthy, uh, he's the kind of guy you have to watch to appreciate just how good he is. But at that same token, you know, I want to see this team win, and I want to see them long-term be good. And if he's going to pull the same stuff he did uh, in the offseason two years ago uh, and, and, and really prolong this out and become a distraction, you know, again, this organization is in a different spot now. That if they can use this trade to replenish the roster, to get some quality players, um, to get some depth, maybe in the form of draft picks and, and actual you know proven players, I won't begrudge them for looking into that and if a really good deal comes along, taking it. Uh, you hear a lot talked about this in the New York media, I'm sure, in the next couple days. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, do you think the Jets would be, would be smart uh, to look into trading Revis if they get the right deal? Do you think they should extend him um, because he's probably, you know, he's he's you know one of their only uh, good players they have left on the roster? Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, hit me up in the YouTube comments. Uh, hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. And as always, guys, if you subscribe to my channel, uh, you know, I, I usually upload uh, anywhere from you know one to as much as four or five sports talk videos a day on whatever's current. So uh, thank you as always for listening and have a good night.